today we are going to learn approaches to machine learning the machine learning can be approached by the following types the first one is supervised learning the next one is unsupervised learning and the last one is reinforcement learning this this will be explained in further slides but these are the main approaches how to machine learning will establish the relationship between or how they solve the problems so come to the next slide this is supervised learning supervised learning is a sub category of machine learning and artificial intelligence it is defined by use of labeled data sets to train algorithms that to classify data or predict outcome accurately as the input data is fed into the model the adjust its weight until the model has been fitted appropriately which occurs as a part of cross validation process supervised learning help organization to solve for a variety of real world problems at scale such as classifying spam in a separate folder from your inbox supervised learning as a name indicates it has the presence of the supervisor as a teacher basically supervised learning is when we teach or train the machine using data sets that is well labeled which means some data is already tagged with the correct answers after the machine is provided with a new set of examples or data so the supervised learning algorithm analyzes the training data sets and produces a correct outcome from labeled data for instance suppose you are given a basket filled with different kind of fruits now the first step is to train the machine with all different types of fruits one by one like this if the shape of object is rounded and it has a, a depression at the top in the red color then it will be labeled as apple so the basically is apple having the circular shape with a depression so it's it's, uh, it's like a symbolic apple if the shape of the object is long curving cylinder having the green yellow color then it will be labeled as a banana so the geometry of the banana as described in this sentence now suppose after training the data you have given a new separate fruit say banana from the basket and ask to identify it since the machine is already learned the things from the previous data sets this time has used it wisely it will first classify the fruit with the shape and color and would confirm the fruit name as banana and put into the banana category thus the machine learns the things from the training data or basket sets contain fruit and then applies the knowledge of test data new fruit the supervised learning is classifies into two categories of algorithm first one is a classification and second one is a regression in classification a problem when the output variable is category such as red or blue or disease or no disease in regression learning or regression problem is when the output variable is a real value such as dollars or weight so supervised learning deals with the learns with the labeled data that implies that some data is already tagged with the correct answers the following are the supervised examples of algorithms the first one is a linear regression second one is a nearest neighbor third one is a gaussian net navy bias fourth one is a decision tree fifth one is a support vector machine and sixth one is a random forest so advantage of the supervised learning are supervised learning allows collecting data and produce data output from previous experience next one is helps to optimize performance criteria with the help of the experience supervised machine learning helps to solve various types of real world computer problems disadvantage classifying big data can be challenging 
training for supervised learning needs a lot of computation time so it requires lot of times now in general what what we so what we would like to know the supervised learning basically is nothing but a, a consider i'll give an example consider a class is going on and one teacher presents in the class what he do he will supervise all the class and if the examination is going on now so he is looking into the class whether the what students are writing on the uh, answer sheets they need something uh, information regarding the question sets this is called under the supervision of the teachers the student is writing papers is in shorter way we call this is supervised learning and the whatever the external instructions needed to solve that problem will be given by the teacher to that particular class so this is a called supervised learning and this is a very important learning when we go for in ai artificial intelligence then we can see that if some machine is get stuck into a some procedure or program then we need a supervisor to solve that particular problems or particular uh, debugging that issue so this is the supervised learning i will give another example if you going to write a program for multiplication of two numbers in c language then we can see that and if you do for first iteration it will done and if you do another uh, if you not nested properly the loops then it will go to the infinity if it is not mentioned where to stop that loop so supervisor required whether where to stop or where to start so that is the importance of the supervised learning now it it's very widely used so how the supervised learning is work